Well, as a sales director, Pamela Waldrop Shaw led her unit to the million dollar circle of excellence eight times, her highest in the $1,350,000 circle. She was a top 10 sales director nationwide six times. She's been a runner up to the queen of unit sales for her seminar three times and queen two times debuting as a national sales director out of the Nan Stroud area in 2000, her highest monthly check so far is over $55,000. And she's a Mary Kay multimillionaire with over $8 million in commissions. Pam has achieved Diamond Circle status nine times and has been a member of the exclusive Inner Circle seven times. She is proud to have Julia Burnett, Leah Lachlan, and Barbara Johnson debut as national sales directors from her area. Pam has also received the highest honor at Mary Kay when she was named the annual Go Give winner for her seminar in 1994. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Independent Executive National Sales Director, Pamela Waldrop Shaw. You feel my beating heart. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Good morning, Diamond Seminar. <laughs> Calm down. You know, when your body's in a state of emotion and you want to use a word that might make you afraid, but you use a different word like I am so excited right now. I'm gratefully standing in a victory that was birthed years ago. People come into your life, some for a reason, some for a season, and some for a lifetime. This moment, it represents a collection of each, but right now, I'm most grateful for those lifers. Thank you, Epic Family, the Shaw area, whose leaders ignite excellence and legacy accomplishment, the Revolution National Area, led by the fierce and passionate Julia Burnett, and the Unleashed National Area, led by the masterful and wise Leah Lachlan. I'm blessed. I am blessed to share the journey with these brilliant souls. Thank you for being so vividly present to each shared moment that we have, and for leading with extraordinary vision into our epic future. You know, there are many pathways our lives could take, each choice leading to a different lifestyle or outcome, and I hope to inspire you to get out of your own way, to seize this extraordinary standalone opportunity whose legacy has no competition. The way to it can be framed in one simple but thought-provoking truth. You're gonna have to fight for the life you wanna live. When was the last time you were wholeheartedly all in for a goal that really mattered? You know, there are times in your life when you think a new thought, you take a new action for the purpose of getting a different result. These are called turning points in our lives. And it's said at the end of our lives, they can be shaped and defined by 10 significant events, seven critical decisions, and five influential people. I pray this week fits one of those for you. Yes, all in for your Mary Kay business, to be a part of one of the most exciting growth movements that our company has ever had in its history, but also all in for your own life. I was working 80 to 90 hours a week as a 26-year-old high school English and dance teacher, drill team coach in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when behind the scenes, <laughs> hello Floridians, behind the scenes, a sales director, Nancy Perry, had taken Mary Kay's 10 skincare party week challenge and she had taken it from Mary Kay Ash personally. Nancy warm chatted a teaching buddy who became a hostess, invited Libby, one of my roommates, to her party. They did not invite me. 
Libby immediately became an independent beauty consultant against only discouragement from us. 31 years ago, this past April, was my first Mary Kay event, and I reluctantly attended it as a guest after relentless invitations to see Libby get her star consultant ribbon. I live in Kentucky, we have county fairs, cows get ribbons. <laughs> so I was uncomfortable with the high-pitched rah-rah ribbon culture, but I liked Nancy. Even with my insanely overpacked, complicated schedule, certainly I didn't want to sell Mary Kay. I was sure about that. But I somehow agreed to meet with her the very next night at 9 p.m. on my way home from drill team practice at the end of a 14-hour day. She was good. Like many of you, least likely to say yes, I left as a new independent beauty consultant. The idea that I could sell enough product to go to Kentucky for Christmas to buy presents for my family without my mother helping me out, again, was however more appealing in theory than actually doing it. $16,000 in personal credit card debt, earning $19,000 a year, I found a way to start with star inventory at her coaching. I also earned my pearls of sharing when a student of mine who was leaving for college hinted she'd like a part-time business in cosmetics. Reluctantly, I told her what I had done, and I gave Nancy her phone number. That student, my first team member in Mary Kay, led her million-dollar unit to number one in Pearl Seminar, building her national area today, Cindy Machado Flippin. God is also handing you the pieces of your life puzzle. I could not understand why Nancy wrote to me. I believe in you postcards at what seemed like weekly. I wanted her to stop telling me that she saw me as a director because she was wasting her time and she was wasting her stamp. I was a teacher. My parents were teachers. I loved my job, all 90 hours of it. It's what I did. I adored my students, but she was a bulldog and she kept her vision for what could be in front of me, tenacious, pointing me to see it. The summer ending my fourth year teaching, I didn't return to Kentucky to work at my summer job at Mammoth Cave National Park. Rather, I stayed in Florida for camps with each of the teams that I coached. I had 10 boxes of Mary Kay. You know that star inventory that I purchased? It was still in the boxes. I tripped over it to go to the bathroom and I tripped over it to go to my bedroom. And out of the blue, a drill team mom called to say she'd heard I was selling Mary Kay and could she host a party? How did she know? I hadn't told anybody. She booked me, she coached me, I wore pink that day. It was 105 in South Florida. All I knew to do was just to show up in pink and sweat, and that's what I did. I rang her doorbell, box in hand, my starter kit unopened, in tow. She said, what's that? I said, I think it's everything we need, Carol. <laughs> in spite of myself, they purchased over $400, and I left and thought, dang, I'm good. I was good. <laughs> I'm a natural. I held parties all summer. I sold everything that I had, 100% of my product. I had a few Mr. K things that we used to have on the shelf. I sold all of my money and went back. I thought I was done with my Mary Kay venture. I went back to school in August. Have you ever walked into your job, looked around and said, why am I here? Why do I not see anybody that I even like? And I heard God speak in my spirit, get out of here. I said, Lord, I can't get out of here. I, I, you called me to South Florida. I want to teach. I want to speak. I want to write. And in my spirit, I heard him say, get out of here. Lord, I, I, I want to teach. I want to speak. I want to write in my spirit. You're going to teach. You're going to speak. You're going to write. And I'm going to blow your mind, but you're going to have to get out of here. My fifth year teaching, I was under contract, so I absolutely could not see leaving. I don't know the last time you disobeyed God, but what follows is usually a challenging season. <laughs> Nancy coerced me to spend, uh, go to an October weekend event in Tampa, Florida. I had just enough balance on one credit card to go, and she said that I could lay out at the pool and grade papers most of the weekend, so it, I thought it'd be a great getaway. And so I did go ahead and go to the Mary Kay event. Little did I know that at that event, the first NSD I would ever meet would rock my world. 36-year-old Shira Warfield was God's gateway into the vision that I would catch for my leadership journey. Her charisma, her bold clarity, her passionate words of what could be, it captivated me, and I was changed at that event. Have you ever sat in a situation and felt, somehow, I've wasted my time. I've made some poor choices. I feel behind in my life. That was me. 
Cheryl's success and confidence, it was the mirror God placed in my conscious mind as I did a strong evaluation that day, a first in my adult life. I went back home. I put my photo with Cheryl on my bathroom mirror, and along with three plus three plus 300, three parties plus three face interviews plus 300 in sales written in lipstick, it also said, if I can do this, I can do anything. Little did I know how true that would prove to be. My teaching and coaching load didn't lighten, but paralyzed by fear and no Mary Kay skills, I was all in, except I was all talk and no walk October, November, and December. Excited, clear, the vision, no action. Prior to leaving for Christmas break, I promised Nancy I would do whatever she told me when I came back, and you know what? I did. Returning to Florida on the 30th of December for New Year's Eve, I stayed home while my roommates went to Key West. I wrote out goals in a makeshift design book and set up a homemade focus folder. Against fear and overwhelming insecurity, I got on the phone. I booked parties and interviews and guests to meeting. I was still scared to death, but I was at that place that I couldn't not do it. You've got to fight for the life you want to live. Have you ever had a feeling that a knowing that if you don't do something, you'll miss the destiny that's marked out for you? Well, that was my gut. Still, my full-time job, all those 90 hours of weekly work responsibilities, I went on target for my career car in January, and then I had to make a critical decision. Without adding six college hours, my teaching certificate would expire by the end of June. There wasn't time to keep my school commitments, build my Mary Kay business, and take the extra college courses. So the decision was made to let my teaching certificate expire. I turned into a time management beast. At age 26, I gave up dating and going out. Oh, yes, I did. A nine hour a night sleeper, I sacrificed sleep, going on about four hours a night for six months, the last three with strep throat. Social and sleep were the only negotiable time slots that weren't demanded. I went from mostly out to all in, and there's a big difference. It was then that I learned how to make appropriate sacrifices instead of making excuses. I attended my first seminar as a brand new independent sales director. Within three months, I had two car earning offspring sales director, and our first pink Cadillac was delivered. Within six months, they had both quit and returned product. <laughs> By the end of that year, the poorly managed unit attrition entangled with those dynamics placed me at decision time again. I was struggling. I went home for Christmas and my dad asked about that January meeting you have. Broke again and embarrassed, dad gave me his hard-earned mulch money to go to leadership conference. I don't recall what I heard or what happened exactly there, but I know that being around winning people whose voices and vision exceeded mine, it changed my thinking, and it ultimately changed my direction. Your next depends on the way you do now. It was key then, and it's key today. I recommitted, and my journey went on an acceleration binge up the career path. Cadillacs, meeting and marrying the love of my life, birthing our only son, trips around the world, Mary Kay's throne, debuting our national area, friendships beyond expectations, experiencing countless Instagram moments of a Mary Kay life. And then my story takes a turn. At age 38, after multiple wrong diagnoses that involved a speech slur, our worlds were rocked when a neurologist confirmed my late husband had ALS. 18 months later, on December 2nd, he went to be with the Lord. Our son Thomas was 12 when Jerry died. There's a book in me about those 10 years, so needless to say that filling in the blanks here is time prohibitive. But what I want to say to you is, whether you've lost a loved one, divorced, raised a child who was challenged in any way outside of what might feel normal or different or from what you had expected, whether for your child or niece or sister or cousin or spouse or in-laws who struggled or struggle with a deception or a diagnosis or a disappointment or a disability or an addiction or just had a tough time maneuvering through a season, then you know your life has to adjust to the unexpected. As a widowed single mother guiding him through grief and puberty, it became impossible for me to commit to travel as I couldn't bear to cancel and not explain why. There were times literally when physically I couldn't leave the house and nights that I didn't go to sleep. In faith, I made the decision to circle this business around my priorities, not giving up on the business and using my circumstances not as an excuse to cower. I didn't lose years grieving what I couldn't do. I continually prayed for God to show me what I could do and how I could do it. Because it's with his permission, I share my son, now 22, celebrates 16 months sobriety today, works at UPS in Louisville, Kentucky.
You've got to fight for the life you want to live. Hardships don't disqualify you from promotion. Life can be messy, but it's also full of fresh starts and second chances and do-overs. Likely the struggle you're in today is developing the strength that you'll need for tomorrow. Your current circumstance, it's shaping your next victory. If it doesn't challenge you, it's not gonna change you. Instead of wishing your circumstance away, look for God's provision to make you better, more resilient, more qualified to become more through it. You've gotta fight for the life you wanna live. So let's break it down. Number one, identify your one thing. Your one thing. What is the one thing you know you need to do, stop doing, that would make the biggest difference in your life and your Mary Kay success? Don't act like you don't know. You've said it or thought it up countless times. A life principle that I teach often is you can't change what you won't acknowledge. Your worst enemy is the pattern of recycled thoughts and habits you entertain that aren't serving you well. Regrets can be difficult to move past, especially repeated regrets. If you want accelerated results, you must understand the accumulation factor. It's not the one day you take action in alignment with my goals and vision victory. It's the accumulation of small actions day after day that produce the result. Your habits are either the best of servants or the worst of masters. And you can't break a habit until you interrupt it and replace it with a new better one more suited for the accumulated result you want. My body, my money, my relationships relationships, my career path title, all the accumulation of choices which will stem from my habits. The private choice when nobody's watching precedes a moment lived out in public or on stage. What's your one thing? And what are two key behaviors that you'll choose to support that on a daily basis? Who will you tell? When will you start? How will you remain accountable? You got to fight for the life you want to live. Number two, live intentionally. What entertains you, trains you. What you listen to, music, news, sermons, speeches, professors, pastors, mentors, leaders, politicians. What you watch, YouTube, Facebook, TV, Netflix, HBO, Snapchat, Instagram, movies. What you read, Bible, books, articles, posts, magazines, blogs. How you occupy your time, doing nothing, sleeping, eating, overeating, exercising, studying, reading, gaming, serving, working, cleaning, speaking, blogging, Google search. Holding a skincare party, whatever you do, it trains your thoughts and it formulates your belief. What entertains you, trains you, period. You can't input one type of information and print out another. You can't import one form of information and export another. God is clear. He created us with a brain and the ability to choose and to think mind over matter. We're not victims of our biology or our DNA. His mercies are fresh every day, every day. New neuron pathways open up in my brain to be used for good or for harm. Your and my thoughts take up valuable mental real estate. They're either keeping you in poverty and wealth in terms of your mental well-being because your thoughts are a choice. God created me in his image. God created you in his image, which is perfect, made for love, not fear, sound mind, not insanity. You don't like where this is going? Change what you listen to. Change what you watch, what you consume, what you read, what you do with your time, and you watch what follows because you can't live your values until you know what they are. So what would a perfect day be like for you? Start to finish, frame your day, first two hours and last hour with intentional habits. Those three hours, the first two and the last one, they're critical to your life as the foundation is to your home. Nobody is gonna turn the noise off or live well for you. Only you can. You've gotta fight for the life you wanna live. Number three, get your courage on. Throughout the day, we have many choices. Good from bad, it's pretty easy to discern. But good from best, it's a higher perspective. The biggest error in thinking is that other people feel like being disciplined. That you're the only one who struggles with the feelings instead of just doing what you said you would do or what you really want to do. Newsflash, it's never about feelings. It's always about courage. So once you set your goal, your mind goes about proving that you have opportunities to accomplish it. When you set a goal, your heart will start to nudge you. Call her. Hand out your card. When your heart gives you a little nudge, you literally have five seconds to make a courageous decision and to take action. If you let five seconds pass, you'll default to your old behavior. You'll go to your comfort zone. Your heart gives you a nudge. It takes you two seconds to realize what happens, what's happening. That leaves you with three. In chemistry, activation energy is defined as the force needed to start something, okay? So it's the minimum amount of energy that's required to activate atoms or molecules to a condition in which they can undergo chemical transformation or physical transport. You have to have an activation energy. 
Remember when you first jumped into a swimming pool or some other first that took courage and childlike faith and somebody counted three, two, one, go. Remember? From now on, I'm going to invite you to recognize you have five seconds of courage. By the time you're aware, you have three. So say it out loud with me. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah. So whether it's talking to someone or making the call or extending that invitation or getting out of bed or pulling, putting down that drink or doing the proper clothes at your party, just whisper to yourself, three, two, one, go. It's your activation ritual. It takes courage to take action when your heart speaks, whispering at you, giving you a hint, do this and do it now. You can't count on feeling brave enough or excited enough. You have to choose how you're going to act and just do it. If you take control of the moment, you'll take control of your life. Just get started. On five, your heart starts, your heart speaks. On three, you engage your prefrontal cortex and you interrupt your default. On two, you insert the new choice, which gives you one go to choose courage. You got to fight for the life you want to live. I don't know what you're going through, although I know for many in the room, it's not only something, it feels like too much. And I want to assure you that it's not. Rarely is it in your success, rather in your struggle, that God will show you who you really are. It was Sean Key that I first heard say how to turn your uncertain or sad story into your success story. So I invite you to turn your uncertain or sad story into your success story and fearlessly be all in for your best life. Work, it's a privilege, not a duty or a chore. Embrace the opportunity to overcome and fight for your best life. Nathan Moore is my fourth Mary Kay president. He's a godly man, a gifted listener, a strong and visionary leader who loves to win. I'm beyond grateful that at this season of my Mary Kay journey, he is leading Mary Kay U.S. into our finest years ever. Get ready for growth. You'll either be a part of it and you'll reap the rewards that are sure to come, or you'll recall a day when you could have. Nathan has set the audacious goal of surpassing our current status as the number one direct selling beauty and personal care brand in the U.S. and top five global skincare brand to become number one in all skincare and all color cosmetics across all channels, across all malls, across every possible way of selling and retail establishments. And he believes, as you can see, that we can take over this number one inclusive status. And because of his commitment to equip us with awesome products, powerful support materials, and the partnership like I have never seen before in all of my 31 years, all that's left is your all in. Get your activation ritual on. Your heart speaks a message. It tells you to take action. You have four seconds left. Your prefrontal cortex recognizes it. It's time to make a decision. You have three seconds left. Count out loud. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, you guys. Have the best year ever. God bless you. Please give a standing ovation to your number three national sales director. Independent Executive National Sales Director, Pamela Waldrop-Shaw.